You've been invited to a number of countries too, haven't you, Cashew? Yes, sir. Countries such as uh, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, Malaya. Uh, when do you plan Egypt to go? In all these countries. When do you plan to uh, go? In a couple of months, I like to start my world tour, and I expect to be gone for as long as a whole year. Cashew's uh, controversy, not controversy, but there's great interest in the fact that you have joined the Muslim religion. How long have you had this interest? Oh, for the past six years, I would say, after hearing a lot of teachings on Negro history and who we were before we got here, and one and one makes two, and here I met nothing but Muslims from all over the world, and they all... You mean here at the United Nations yes, today? Uh, I recognize all of them, and they recognize me, uh, but until then, I could walk in here and wouldn't know nothing about what's going on, but now I can look at people from all over the world, regardless of mm -hmm. race, creed, or color, and talk intelligently with them, and most of all, recognize all of my brothers and sisters in the East, people that I haven't recognized over my lifetime. Cassius, you, uh, there's some talk about your buying a home here. Is, uh, have you made the purchase yet? Well, yes, I'm uh, look, uh, scouting now, and some, some home on the outskirts of town I'll soon be picking. Is, is this the reason for your, this particular trip to New York? Well, yes, I have enterprise set up here. I'm incorporated now, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of business to attend to. And like I said, this is the center of the world. A whole lot is going on here. Uh, uh, this is the city. You're winning the championship. You feel your affiliation with the Muslim religion? Being a follower of the Muslim religion had something to do with your winning the championship? Well, I would say so. Uh, my religion is what the only thing that I can give me credit for pulling me through because uh, 99 out of 100 seemed to see no possibility of me winning. The newspaper reporters and everybody all over the world condemned me. They said it would be a mismatch and everybody, couldn't nobody believe it. So uh, my prayers to uh, Allah and uh, faith in my religion, living a clean, righteous life, I have to say that's what pulled me through. Do you think you, uh, you'll have to go in the army before you fight again? Have you, do you know yet? Well, I really don't know. I'll cross those bridges when I get to them. <laughs> Fine. Thank you very much, Cassius. Yes, it's been sir. real nice to have you Thank here you as, a, as, a, as a representative of the, Thank you very of the much. boxing world. Thank yes, you. sir. Malcolm, could I stop you? Yes, sir. United Nations and organizations well, dedicated to brotherhood and to, to world peace. Well, as, I heard, you as I heard you explaining to Cassius this afternoon about, uh, first, the ability to sit down and discuss the problem. Well, this is what this is what makes the UN what it is. They discuss the problem, whether they don't, whether they disagree or not. They at least discuss the problem. And uh, but America needs to do the same thing on a domestic level, where the race problem is concerned. They need to discuss the problem, but they don't need to discuss it with Uncle Tom, whom they themselves have placed up as spokesman for Negroes. Because that time is not going to say anything but what his master wants him to say, and you can't get to the root of a problem by listening to some parrot. Uh, say what you've already told it to say. So the first thing they've got to do is discuss the problem, analyze it, uh, get to the root of it, and then they can come up with a solution. And the only one, the only black in America, who will spell out the real causes of the problems and the facts of the problem is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We'll talk about the Muslim religion, uh, those following the Muslim religion being purveyors of hate. I wonder if you'd clear that for Cassius has been following the religion of Islam, the Muslim religion, for the past four or five years. And he's the most, he's always been the most likable, friendly person in the world. And I think you'll find that all Muslims uh, who follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad have the ability to make friends with everyone. Where did this come from, the title of the Muslims being a hate group? Well, the press, uh, the anti-Muslim uh, press, uh, tried to paint that distorted image purposely to, to make most of the Negroes in this country afraid to be identified with it. What is this? But Cassius, uh, Cassius destroyed that image the other night when he knocked out listening, funny listening. Same connection, Malcolm. Would you uh, would you clarify this charge that has been made? Are you free now to to speak? Uh, yes, I am, and have always been a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and a uh, practicer of the religion of Islam. There is no such thing as a split between no. The, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me everything I know and made me everything I am. What is, on a personal basis, what is your ambition uh, as a follower of the Muhammad religion, of the Muslim religion? Well, what would you like to see come about? Well, number one, most of the efforts to analyze the racial problems in this country are very hypocritical. And, they all, and seldom do they ever face the facts that are involved in the issue. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad's analysis of the cause of the race problem in this country is an, is an analysis that's based on reality. But most people can't face reality. And since they can't eliminate the fact that what he's saying is truth, they try and say that it's hate. 
Uh, and if they were to accept his analysis and listen to his solution, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have any trouble in America. Oh, here's my buddy. Here's my buddy. Yes, sir. Here's your buddy. Glad to see you. This is very well done. Very well done. Very well done. From Nigeria. I just changed my chauffeur. Yes, sir. Mr. Debo. I must get in touch with you. Mr. Debo, I want to say a word. Is this your first time to meet the ambassador? This is not my first time. Is this your first time to meet the champion? Since he became champion, yes. You're the uh, ambassador from... That. You did. Where did you meet him, uh, Ambassador? I met him in Harlem on the occasion when he and his friends were doing honor to a countryman of mine who is their friend, Dick Tiger, who is also a boxer. So from your country. I'm very pleased to be able to do the same compliment, to return the compliment today to Cassius Clay. Congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that you have a good regime as a Thank champion, yes, sir. and I Thank wish you all the luck in the world. Do you plan to visit Nigeria on yes, your trip? Sir. That's one of my main stops, Africa.